looking at the most unbelievable things found in Japan. We've scoured thousands of TikTok videos and we've collected every single one and put it into this insane movie. Look at this, already starting off with how smart Japanese people are. Look at this, a corn dog in a bag. Oh, the ketchup mustard squirter. Come on, that's like the greatest invention ever. Especially in America, why do we not have this? Like we eat corn dogs like it's a religion here. So we should have that. In Japan, packaging for some of the most common items never ceases to blow my mind. What Check out this? what happens when I empty this bottle of cow peas. Oh, whoa, that's cool. It's like a girl waving as he leaves. Oh, wait, it's sad. This is a sad emotional story on the bottle. Honestly, I love that. Like I love like little stories and, and marketing. This is like a uwu. This is like an e-girl shop. It's kind of cool. I bet this food is bomb. Like, come on. You do not have designs like that and not taste incredible. Is that like boba pop? K-pop drink? I don't know. I love this vibe, whatever it is. I think that's really cool. This being back in Japan that feels very different from the U.S. is people always leave their laptops unattended when they go to the bathroom really? at any coffee shop. So I started doing it too. And so far it's there every single time. Dude, that's weird. I feel like, yeah, I feel like the first thing they told us when we went to college was like, all right, kids, you got laptops now. Number one rule, never leave it alone. Look at this. Anti-social introverts dream. You ain't even got to talk to nobody. Come on. The problem with that is though, I could put it down. Like I wouldn't feel guilty about being like alone and being like, yo, I want five Big Macs. I could just get five Big Macs and they don't know. A two dimensional theme cafe in Whoa, Tokyo. This is cool. This place is called 2D Cafe. 2D means two dimensional, literally. Everything here Whoa. is designed to make it look the flat. The floor doesn't feel right though. It needs to be white. They all look like they came straight out of a manga. And when I say everything, Whoa. I mean everything. What's up with those chairs, lights? Chairs, tables, oh, walls, that's crazy. The ceilings. I mean, look at this. The sweet even look like their illustrations. Look how cute my seat is. And for food, you can enjoy this super-sized shaved ice that comes in various fruits. And this is me drinking boba with an unsecure face. I am shocked that there are not a whole chain of these worldwide. That seems like such a cool concept just to go into. I wonder how the food is, though. See, I wonder about this, too. Like, is this a normal thing? Like, I feel like I see videos like this a lot. And, like, it must be kind of normal. <laughs> Everyone's clapping along. That's so funny. Show you how to spend your day at Super Nintendo World. Located in Universal Studios Japan here in Osaka. The first thing that you're gonna need are these power up bands. I wonder if it's They're good. used to interact with all the blocks that are scattered throughout the park. So you can collect coins and points and you can keep up with your stats on the app. There's also different stations where you can scan your band and wow. you can check your stats from there too. Next, head to Bowser's Castle so you can experience cool. Mario Kart in AR. After Mario that, Mario Kart in AR. Okay, that's Head out sick. to the One Up Factory. Load up on souvenirs you can only get here. Once you're dressed up, go meet up with your favorite characters. There. See, the thing is, I feel like this is cool and I love it, but like, is anyone out there that big of a fan of Mario? I feel like I'm gonna get crucified for this, but like, you know, Disney, I get it. Harry Potter, I get it. You know, there's things like Star Wars, Marvel, but like, who's like a freaking loves Mario? I feel like there's probably people, but. Isn't it like more rare than like, maybe I'm way wrong, I don't know. Facts about Japan that are actually true. Fruit are expensive, but sushi, what? Sushi is cheap. There's no rubbish bins on the street. Oh, I, that's interesting, a rubbish bin. Rubbish bin, so British. It's rude to tip. Guys, come on, if we weren't moving to Japan before, we're moving there now. Slurping noodles is considered polite. That's also true in China, and I didn't know that because I went out to eat one day with like a bunch of people that we met in China. We were eating ramen and everyone was like, <laughs> And I, I wasn't slurping and I was I was told I was meant to. I, I had no idea. It was really uh, fascinating. It was really cool. Wait, whoa. Is that dude just forcing them in? That dude's foot's not even in there. There's no way. Dude, what the heck? When the door opens, you're literally going to fall out. Like that's actually crazy. But the fact that they're all laughing makes me feel like this isn't a normal thing. The heck? <laughs> He's eating. <laughs> Things in Japan that just make sense. These are egg vending machines, which are very rare in Japan. They are usually only found in the countryside, Whoa. and are run by local farmers. So oh, those are the best eggs, dude. Eggs Even like the branding is clean. Twenty-four hours a day, seven days a week. Look at that. See, that's one thing Japan gets right is their branding on everything is so clean and just professional looking. Oh, you know what? See, this is the type of thing where you would buy this on AliExpress and it would come to you and it just wouldn't work at all like the picture shows. But in Japan, it works perfectly. Look at that. What gym class is like in... Japanese preschool does this in gym class? I would have to imagine, correct me if I'm wrong, this is a very unique school designed for gymnasts or is this every single 
I can't even, I've never been able to do that. What the heck? Breakfast at McDonald's in Japan. This sounds like an experience we would all want to have once in our lives. McDonald's Japan. Poochie pancakes. Gucci, oh, I thought I said Gucci pancakes. Box Yo, of those mini look good. Pancakes. I bet those are Comes fire. Oh, and, and they got the squirter. Syrup. <laughs> Convenient <laughs> packaging. That. Cream and apple syrup. Oh my Seat gosh. for size. Dude, those are probably so, so freaking many. delicious. Look how fluffy they look. Wow, I had breakfast when I was in China and I got green tea ice cream for breakfast and it was freaking fire. Weird but interesting things in Japan. This is a bathroom that is transparent to the public. Oh, this I feel like you can still see through that. This is a public restroom in a park. I don't know about and that. as you can see, the insides are completely transparent when nobody's in. So, how do you make it private? The bathroom has see-through walls when nobody's in, but once you- Do you know why they do this? There's like a real reason. I think the reason they do this is so that way when you open the door and there's a mess, like if you poop on the floor or something, people will know it was you. Like it's a way for you to not be able to trash the place. So that's actually a way to keep it clean. Why is it such a vibe? Like this is so peaceful to me. I love this. This is great. It was literally like regular popcorn. There was nothing special about it. The 1.7 million people <laughs> seem to agree with me that there was something about this that was extra special. So here in Japan, everybody poops like royalty. So this press- Oh, this is what I'm talking about. Button here, you press it, and it just plays water sounds. In America, our bathrooms have gaps so big. If you're taking a poop, you could make eye contact with something outside. Like if you're not from America, this is real. Like every bathroom stall, you literally can see people. In Japan out here giving you a full five-star experience. Are you kidding? This way. If oh my gosh. This is literally my dream. I, I would take so many more poops. I'd have much healthier bowel movements if that were the case. A robot wait. Wow. Okay. I, they said robot waiter. I, I didn't know what I expected. I did not expect a three tiered system with a trash can. Why does Japan have so many robots actually? Like, why is that a thing? Like, why don't we have that anywhere else really? Its name's Homie. Oh, look at that. Oh, I want to do one of these too. Spending 24 hours inside of a capsule hotel. Although, it, I guess I would prefer like a door instead of a curtain. I don't know. I like privacy. I would definitely want the bottom floor though. I would feel a little bit safer at the bottom. I don't know. The bottom feels more private. I don't think they have these in America either. Maybe I'm wrong. I've never seen a billboard that like has this type of animation. That's so cool. I'm sure they could, I guess. I'm sure they do somewhere. I don't know. Like 3D billboards, man. I don't know what Gundam is. Is this an anime? Oh, that's freaking Optimus Prime, guys. Look at him. That's a, that's a big boy. I wonder if there's an advantage to making it touchscreen because like not being able to see the products, does that mean they can organize it more efficiently inside because it doesn't have to be pretty? Maybe, but that seems pretty cool. I want this so bad. I need to get a PO box open. So if I have any Japanese fans who are living in Japan to send me Kit Kat flavors because I have wanted this for my entire life. Look at this stuff. Why isn't that in America? We eat everything. Kit Kat, what are you guys doing? You know how many of these people would eat? Release a new flavor each month. I'm telling you guys, this is a marketing missed opportunity. I Is that ice cube flavor? Is that ghost flavor? Uh, that's freaking neon green, neon orange construction worker vest flavor. Didn't even expect to see that one. Today in Tokyo, we found these magic singing pills. We had Magic a singing pills? Let's take them to karaoke to try them out. What? Karaoke is extra in Japan. You can cosplay and even have additional music Yo, instruments. it was like this in China too. Karaoke at, at night was like the biggest thing ever. Like nightlife was like all karaoke where we were. It was crazy. To play with. The singing booths are usually on a separate floor. The view from our booth was so sick, we could even see Godzilla from our window. You can order drinks or even order all you can drink. You can order food and usually do that by the phone and someone will come wow. and serve it to your people booth. Then, with people with anxiety like, whoa, the phone, I ain't gonna order anything. <laughs> why Japan is living in the future. Many stores in Japan have no workers in Dude, it. Dude, why don't we have this here? America's capitalistic. You would think we would realize like, maybe that'll save us some money. McDonald's French fries in Japan. Chicken and garlic seasoning. Ooh, Drop the fries. That's good looking. Drop the seasoning. Yo. Shake, shake, shake. We don't get any seasoning with ours. That, I feel like we should. That'd be so delicious. It makes you wonder why McDonald's doesn't do that. Like, I'm sure that... Everyone who's had that is like, this is incredible. This tastes great. Why would they not bring it to America? More culture shock from my home country. Japanese people are so well behaved on the train that they're mindful of the slightest bit of noise leaking through your earphones. I noticed when this woman standing next to me started to Google Apple AirPods sound leaking. I knew she was talking about me and I immediately- Oh, that's awkward. That's, that's crazy. I don't know what I like that. I feel like New York City, when I go there, it's got like a nice vibe. Cause you like, yo, you get on the subway and there's a Spider-Man here. Someone fighting there, a guy pooping in the back corner. 
there. It's, it's an experience, I think. A different one, for sure. Cool thing that you find at a rest stop in Japan. Things I never thought I would see in my life. Here we go. You can find at a rest stop in Japan. This one had a peaceful koi pond where children could feed the fish. Dude, in America, all you get is nasty bathrooms that smell like someone just dropped a nuclear bomb in there. This one had go-karts. What? You can ride them if you're 60 kilograms and under. The bathrooms at a Japanese rest stop they are- They have a freaking screen that tells you what's taken? Are you kidding me? Bathrooms here are always so clean. It has oh, a bidet. A bidet! I used a bidet once. I'll tell you what, that sucker, clean. And it plays music Very if you clean. want privacy. They have bathrooms for children that Whoa, are- Whoa, did she just say it plays music? This rest stop has a laundromat, and right next to it, it has a spa. Are you, me? you can have a quick soak and take a shower what? for those long drives ahead. And their food courts are Dude. always so bomb. They're usually full what set meals that you can order from these vending machines. I got this local what? beef plate. Comes with rice, vegetables, Oh my gosh, that looks better than half the restaurants I've been to. I got this hot bowl of ramen with fried chicken and rice. That was so Dude, good. Japan just does everything right, I think, except for the work-life balance. Besides that, the rest of it is spot on. Things that make sense in Japan. Okay. What makes sense? If you are walking on the street and you suddenly feel like eating a okay, cake, that's interesting. but you feel uncomfortable to enter a fancy cake shop, don't worry, we have a can cake. Can cake? You know, like, why does Japan not have an obesity problem when they got canned cake? I mean, that looks good, too. Dude, Japan does food so right. Like, you know if you got this in America, it would be disgusting. Half of it would be empty. Like, it would be rancid. I bet this is better than half the stuff you buy in a restaurant in America. Dude, that looks so good. I gotta go to Japan, bro. I know why PewDiePie moved there now. I get it. This is everything I ate at Universal Oh, I Studios love these videos. Japan. First off, I went to the Mario Cafe and grabbed these $8 pancake sandwiches. $8 pancakes? That's a deal. The Mario cake one was so good. It was sweet, sour, and creamy. Oh, There's even good. jam and custard inside. Oh, it's beautiful. I also enjoyed the Luigi grape and cheesecake sandwich. It had lots of fluffy whipped cream. Jeez. I also got the $7 Mario strawberry soda, which was busy and sweet. I loved the strawberry popping pearls. Next, I grabbed a $5 <sighs> medium so good. custard mochi trio. That's a rip -off. It had a nice stretchy texture, but I found the taste to be quite average. I figured, yeah. It doesn't yeah. even come close to the alien mochi from Disney Sea. I also tried an $8 black cat minion bun. It had a I love bun and a buns. nice beef These are the filling. best food. <laughs> and my favorite part, let's go to Hogwarts. I got a $7 Wait, Hogwarts meat pie, which they had an Hogwarts? amazing okay. flaky pastry and a nice beef mince with carrots and peas. Oh, this was such a yummy snack. And of course, I had to get the $9 butter beer. It was Bro, sweet, I'm salivating fizzy, so with a hard. fluffy and creamy foam on top. This I honestly doesn't even have to be Japan. The food could be anywhere, but it's in Japan, so we put it in this video. Looks so good. Things that just make sense in Japan. Sure. Some restaurants have huge menus. Yeah, it is big. So to avoid mistakes and misunderstandings, you write your order on this sheet. Oh. Once you are done, press this button to call the staff and it oh, comes your food. I love that. What the heck? That, that avoids the awkwardness of your waiter coming up in five seconds and being like, hi, have you decided what you want today? And I'm like, I need another minute. And they come back again. I still need more time, man. Reasons why Japan's awesome. The staff will readjust the toys at claw machine so you can win. People wait for you to get off before boarding the oh, train. Oh, that's rare. I don't see that If in you get on a premium car. A premium car? These ladies will greet you. What? Packages are delivered on time and rarely gets lost. Packages get delivered on time and rarely gets lost? Yeah, well, someone stole my tea the other day, and I'm pretty mad about that. Reason 127 why Japan is the best. Nothing needs to be said about how incredible that is. If you didn't see it, make sure you rewind. That was stunning craftsmanship. Oh, Cat Island! Let's go. You gotta go to Beppu to Fukuoka to Anishima. Oh, look at the cats. Look at them. My cat would never forgive me and I'd probably come back with a thousand diseases. Every one of these cats gotta have cat aids. There ain't no way they don't have cat aids. In Japan, you can find dry ice machines so your ice dry cream, ice machines, don't so your ice cream the doesn't melt on the way home. What? I don't even know where you would get dry ice in America. Like, even if I wanted to, if someone said they'll give me a million dollars to get dry ice, I literally don't know where I would start. That is so weird. Look at that. You must be getting some Primo ice cream or live really far away from the store if you're pulling this one. Things on Japanese home that make sense. Whoa, magnetic door stopper. Whoa, porthole to know if someone's in the bathroom. Oh, I've never seen that before. I've never seen any of this before. This is all innovative to me. Whoa. 
That just ain't fair. Why don't we have this? Like, are you just think in America where it's all about making money, someone would come back and do it here. Reasons why Japan is living in the future. I'm so thirsty, but the water is too cold. But then I remembered Japan has these special bottles that contain regular hot water to keep you warm in winter. Huh? Wait. What? They have hot water in it? I know in China they drink a lot of hot water and I loved it. They like prefer hot over cold and it's really actually nicer. Also Japan things. Amazing rooftops. Wow, look at this. Automatic taxi doors. Clean and free public toilets. Bro, we ain't got that. I'll tell you that right now. And we don't have extremely efficient transport either. Man, every time I watch these, I just feel like America sucks. America sucks! Things that make sense in Japan. Okay. Chewing gum comes with a sticky note to put your gum on when you throw it away. See, they would not do that in America because you know for a fact they would lose some money if they did that in America. They have to buy a bunch of sticky notes then. Unusual things that are normal in Japan. Look at that elevator. Who's this? She's called Elevator Girl. Oh. Elevator Girl. Hello? I don't see the need of that. I don't see the purpose, but it's very fancy. This feels like casino level stuff. That's her job? Why? I would feel so good if someone did that for me. I would be like, oh, they just pushed my button. Ooh, I'm coming back. This That's is what Nagashi I feel like. Solmen is a type of noodle, and in the summer, it's really fun to eat them like this, where you catch them in some cold, flowing water. You can eat Nagashi Solmen pretty much anywhere in Japan, but I would recommend this restaurant. What happens to the stray nudes that go through? Do they just go into the river and they just have a bunch of fish down there getting real fat, eating a bunch of noodles people miss, or like as a recycle or what? There are no All humans robots? at this cafe. Instead, oh. there is a mysterious hole, and inside you you'll find nothing until. I give this machine all my savings. Then one in seven paws will come out. They'll say hi, pet you, and even let you win at rock, <laughs> paper, scissors. Once it's had enough, it'll bring you coffee. I can't tell if those were robot hands or if that was a human dressed up like a furry. And I'm I'm, I'm not sure, honestly. Japan would do either one. Oh, oh okay. you know this, this was weird. Is? What is it? Uh, this whipped cream. What? What does it mean? Oh, uh, I want to be satisfied by cream. <laughs> okay, I want to be satisfied by cream. All right. Is it really just a thing of whipped cream? That's it? Is that it? Oh, I mean, that'd be really good, but that's odd. I mean, nothing wrong with it. Nothing wrong with it. That tastes great. There's nothing wrong with it. Good for him. <gasps> Baby donuts? Baby donut ice creams? I want these. Get them out. Faster. Faster. Show me. <gasps> They're individually wrapped. That's a lot of plastic. But okay. I would sell my soul for a handful of these. Why you gotta wrap them all? It just makes it feel so fancy. Oh. I didn't even go to lie to you. Mm. Oh, that looks good. Oh. Someone get this. Someone give me some baby donut. This looks like a college. You can pick it up from the window. Is it just me or does it seem like a lot of these places just really want zero human interaction? Why do we never see people? I mean, I love it, but why? This movie theater is out of a movie itself. I can't believe something like this exists. Caramel popcorn? <laughs> Look, I'm, I'm about to, I haven't been to movies in years and this now is gonna make my next movie experience so much worse. This is incredible. It doesn't even seem real. I feel like nothing we're gonna look at today seems real. Like Donald breakfast at McDonald's Japan. in Japan. Like what? Peachy pancakes are so cute. Look at these. Oh, I bet that's bussin'. Comes with cream and apple syrup. Apple? Oh, dude, those are like one bite little scrumptious guys, huh? That's a perfect breakfast. Am I, I, I ain't even gonna lie to you. Like my mouth is salivating. I just spit. I can't. This looks so good to me. I'm about to go to Japan right now. This little dude. Fire things. I don't know what any of this stuff is, but I, I love it. Like, I want to get into Suki's head. I don't know what Demon Slayer is. I don't even care. I'm gonna go buy it all. I'm still mouthwatering here, guys. I'm, I'm salivating at the look of this boar head. Excuse me, in Suki's head. Ooh. What? What? A bear paw? Whoa. Wait, that's actually like legit, like a cool reason. That's so cool, it'd make you feel so happy. Until someone comes along and rips your arm off. This is really cool. What if someone took a saw and cut your arm off? I'm sorry, that's all I can think about. Your arm can be cut. I'm not sticking my arm through random holes, but that's cute. It has a phone holder? <laughs> what? <laughs> Whoa. That's so useful, dude. That's actually so cool because my phone's always super dirty. Like, I don't know if you guys understand how nasty this thing is, like always. And I just don't clean it enough. And like, this will be perfect for me. This needs to actually be like in all bathrooms. This makes me feel like the United States is falling behind every single time I see in one of these videos. Come on, USA. What? 
No. Are you kidding me? Do you know how many apartments I've lived in where they just slam the fridge into the corner and you can't even open it all the way because it just hits the door? This would change my life. It was so bad I couldn't even open up half the drawers inside all the way because it would just hit the door. How does it even work? Does that mean the whole door comes off? Oh, it's moving. Oh, it's like shredded moving. That is katsuobushi, which is basically just really thin oh. shavings of dried fish. Okay. That's kind of cool. It's, it's interesting. Nothing in America ever moves when you eat it. Do you notice that? We don't ever have moving food and that freaks us out. Vending machines selling everything from hot, hot soup to anime figures. The display food's actually the coolest thing. Like there's none of that here. And I hate when you go to order food and you're like, oh, I wonder what this looks like. Is it big? Is it small? Do I need to share it? Just really, that's the one thing I took away from this. American, we need fake food. We need fake food to look at to tell us if it's good looking or not. I feel like that would sell it, but maybe we're not good enough. I feel like you gotta be a good artist to do that. It's what? basically a vending machine with Siri because it doesn't require you to touch it. Product you ranking? It can show you what types of drinks they have. And you can what? play games like rock, paper, scissors. And if you win, you can get a coupon. What? And I lost, so... Dude! They literally make even vending machines so good. Imagine if we applied this type of innovation on anything in America. Do you know how far we'd be? We would be so far. I'm telling you right now. I would go here and buy stuff just to win rock, paper, scissors. This is... I'm losing my mind in this video. And we're only like a quarter of the way in. This is crazy stuff. What do we have here? Just like a ball thing? What is this? Wait, is this coffee? Are you making homemade coffee with... What? Why? What? 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 That's, that's so unnecessary, but yet so amazing. Like making coffee is fun, right? Gives you a good start to your day. This is making it even better. I love opening up and getting a surprise. Is cooling things for summertime. So it's what? Personal. Does this stuff work? Because my AC has been out for over two weeks now and this would be so useful to me. Am I about to fly to Japan just to get some cooling material? You can buy cooling wipes. I cooling wipes, imagine wiping your butt with that. Taking a nice hot steamy poop with some like spice in there. You pull one of these out, it neutralizes spicy food. Huh? Number one is this box of Pocky. Oh, these right are good. We have a new edition where you're supposed to put the box what? in the freezer to make it extra crunchy. Oh, I've never done that. That sounds good. This box is the puzzle on the back side for kids to do. You see the blue blank box on the right side? Keep yes. Keep that in mind. This one right here. Freeze it for a while. Something cool will happen. Remember that blank box? Now there's a hint to the puzzle showing up. Wow. They make cold activated boxes. In America, we just make boxes. This is just, this is blasphemy. We need cold activated boxes here. I feel like I'm, I'm not happy about this. My favorite little snack to get when I was in Japan. Is that sushi? Oh, that looks good. Oh, that looks good. Oh, I want sushi. Are you going to wrap it yourself? So it's like a sushi burrito for breakfast? Wow, that crunch sounded incredible. That sounds so, so good to me. Dude, my mouth is watering so much in this video. We're, we're literally just getting started. What is this? What is that? That is nice. That is so cool. Oh, that's even cooler. Are you kidding me? What's the whole thing? Wow. That's crazy. What is this? What is this? Why is there a hole in the floor? I, I have questions. I need to know what the hole is for. Dude, that's stupid. Cause like my counter is just literally full of toasters and stuff and like all these random appliances. And I can't even use my counter. If I had this, it would change everything. If I ever design a house, I'm going to Japan to get inspiration to design my house. Oh, this is beautiful. Oh, it's so beautiful. Dude, what I would do to have, wait, is this just the side of a street? Just a koi pond on the side of a road? What? America could never, the amount of runoff and trash that would be in that in the week. Probably some kid would go down and try to catch the fish. I'm just saying. Oh, personal stamps. That's cool. Double decker parking. I've seen that. It's weird. Bullet train sushi. We, we, we have conveyor belt sushi and someone literally came along and said, that's not innovative enough. Let's make it a bullet train. It's already innovative. Japan just seems like a wonderland. What is, is there, is there anything bad about the country? It seems so good. Whoa. My dude just created literally something. I, I don't know. I'm telling you, if I like die one day or if I go to like jail and they're like, you got like one last meal, I'll probably be like, I want that thing that dude made in TikTok. This one right here. These are always a vibe. Does anyone that watches these videos like go out and do this like stop? Oh, is that mochi? Looks good. Looks good. Oh, this is all pocky and mochi. Oh, this, is, this is pretty good. And you got one of those poppy drinks. This is literally a vibe. This is like a charcuterie board, but Japan. It's a Japan cuterie board. I don't even know if those are mushrooms. Oh, never have had either of these. Those look incredible. I'm getting chills on this one. Oh, I'm getting chills. 
imagine, imagine that. If someone came over and I had prepared this instead of like a normal cheese and breadboard, you are literally the greatest person ever. I mean, I, this is crazy what I would do for that. 15 plates of sushi for the epic Wait, you get a prize for eating? They even make, imagine if America did this. Oh my gosh, what do you get? Omega wave? <laughs> what? How are we, how are, how did Americans get so fat and we don't even have games? Like imagine where we'd be if we had games. Where's the gift? Oh my gosh. Can you imagine if like in America was like, eat 15 plates, we'll give you a free hat. Like, dude, we would literally be dead by 30. Let me take you into a Japanese woman's restroom. Well, this is something that most of us will never see. So let's go. Really clean, what do these people think about you recording? Music oh, music. I love it. What? What is that for? Take your shoes off in the bathroom? I'll tell you guys right now. Every guy out there watching knows this. Men have been absolutely screwed our entire lives with our bathroom setups. We don't get couches. We don't get recliners. I think we need to come together right now and start demanding a change. We should have our stalls not have gaps in them. All right, that's all I need. Just no gaps in the stalls. Clear mochi. Whoa, never heard of that. Oh, it's good. Looks good. It's like little clear fish eggs, like eyeballs. Why does that look like John Legend? <laughs> Someone just commented that too. I literally thought that was John Legend. Okay, crazy. Ooh, that looks good. By the way, 7-Eleven is like super good in other countries, not in America. Oh, never have had that. Dang. How could you sell a fruit sandwich like that? Because when I buy strawberries within three days, they're already moldy. How are you selling it as a sandwich? I just, I don't get it. Oh. Oh, it's so beautiful. Oh, look at that thing. It's a bubbly tree. The rain. Even the rain is better in Japan. How can, how can I explain that? That doesn't even make sense, but it's true. That's beautiful. Oh. What? Yeah, I feel like, you know, I've, you know, I've, I've been around in America. I've been in a couple of different states. I can't say I've ever, ever seen anything even remotely close to that. Like, not only do they have lots of options. What is that? They're also really good quality. Erasable markers. Erasable? I've never even heard. What? Let me put you on. Dr. Griff is by far the best pencils that I've ever tried. Wait, dude, hold up. The best pencil I use is a Kuru Toga and it's from Japan. Oh my gosh. Is there any Kuru Togas in here? I'll tell you what. They last for years. I still use mine from elementary school. Every Japanese family has a family name stamp. And these are what? Inkang. There's two types of notebook paper. One is- I'm just disappointed there's no Kuru Toga. Here's a picture. It's the best pencil ever. Highly recommended. I love it. I used it for years in college. Thank you. God, more food. It's not, oh my gosh, is that Wagyu? It is. I've had Wagyu once. It's pretty good. Oh my. Oh my. I can't do this right now. I need to be eating. What is that? I don't even know. Oh, this looks good. I tried to make rice the other day and I just absolutely made it taste like disgusting poop. Look at that. You just squirt seeds out of a thing. Look at this. Stop this. Don't you put that in there. Don't you do this. You're going to make me too. Oh God. It's in the freaking, it's in the oil. It's got sesame oil, I think, and sesame seeds. Into the rice we go. This is an adventure. The salivating needs to stop. We're moving on. Dry ice cream? What? How's that ice cream? At that point, it's just, it's not even ice, nor is it creamy. I'm confused. What? So it doesn't melt in the way home. What the, what, what? You put it in a bag? This looks like something off of like Futurama. It's like snowing. I can see snow through the window. What does this look like? Come on now, open it up. It will last up to 30 minutes to one hour. Oh, dry ice machines, not dry ice cream. Wow, that confused me. Why Japan is living in the future. Okay. You have normal baristas, but in Japan we have robots. robots baristas have a look. I wonder if this is actually like better than a regular barista. Like, is it faster or like, is it actually bad? I don't know. But we'll put your cup in the coffee. Uh, if it's not sped up, this is pretty wild. Working on things around the coffee. Wow. The drink is ready. That is pretty cool. I would like to have one of those just to, just for the experience to see if it's good. Whoa, is that outside of a business? Free purses? Okay, you would not have that in America. If you leave your purse for five seconds, this gets stolen. You can rent a tiny IKEA designed apartment for one dollar per month in Tokyo. One dollar per month for an apartment? Dude, you can't even buy an apple for one dollar in America. It's only ten square meters, but it's fully functional. Ten square meters, dude. This looks perfectly fine. It comes with a loft, bedroom, kitchenette, bathroom, toilet, and this is better than ninety percent of New York City apartments. And a washing machine. One dollar a month. Why is this a thing? I literally want this. Maybe it's some weird social experiment, and they're recording your entire life, and they're gonna see what you. 
you do in a small apartment. So girls bar in Ikebukuro Station where they hand squeeze the drinks for you. Of course they hand squeeze. Look at the size of these arms. And have random performances this girl is buff. all throughout the night. Oh. These girls were doing all sorts of different- there, It's a muscle girls bar? And what makes this place even more fitting is that they serve you protein drinks to make you feel just as strong <laughs> as them. That's actually they also kind have of funny. tipping system where they take fake dollar bills and you can tip the macho girls. After Why fake? Why not real? These boxing gloves and this weight machine where they challenge you to see how many reps you can get and so many people participated. That actually looks so fun, but the fact that this dude is doing it in a full-on workout fit right here makes it even better. Like this just screams Japan. Construction zone? <laughs> Are you kidding me? That's so cool. Why can't we have fun flower signs? Sushi in Japan. There's seats if you're going solo what? and you can pick up your favorite sushi. I feel like this would be so expensive because I just couldn't stop. She displayed right in front wow. of Wow. This soy sauce makes so much sense oh, so, so you don't good. soak up too much. Perfect. Man, I feel like every time I go to an American restaurant now, this is bull crap. We don't need waitresses. We don't need waiters. We don't need a tip. We need a robot that brings it to you on a conveyor belt. That's what I want. Traditionally pound mochi in Japan. I love they mochi. They pound the mochi to make it nice and soft. Then they finish it off with their hands in the mallet. I saw this happen in Beijing. It was really wild because I didn't know what it was. And I was like, what is happening here? It's thrown into this machine to fill it up with red bean paste. Oh, red bean out. paste is so good. Look at that mochi. Wow. Bowl. It was only 150 yen and it was one of the best mochis I've ever had. Yeah. Dude, red bean paste and mochi is literally like one of the wonders of the world. If you have not had it, I encourage you to go do it right now. What? Did they, is that for real? Did they actually do that? That is beautiful. Can't imagine that. I mean, back in Philly, man, you get off a train straight up, you're like waiting for people. It's, it's a battle for your life. Things you don't need from the Japanese dollar store part two. You put your fruit, you put your milk in, and then you just crush it with your hand. What? Ew. Ew. It's chunky. I mean, I couldn't do that. All right. I couldn't do it. It's not the move. I don't think it's the move for me. Maybe very niche situations where you have to have it when you're like traveling, but no. Things that make Japan awesome part two. Most hotels have public bathhouses that you can use. What is a bathhouse? The only reason I know about that is from the movie Spirited Away, and I didn't know that was real. The most delicious street food at best. Oh, dude. Beijing street food. Let me tell you, that stuff is on another level. It got me sick, but it's good. Oh, cool. For recycling pet bottles. What is a pet bottle? Have you ever wanted to go eat yakiniku and none of your friends wanted to go? Don't know what that is, but yes. Then yakiniku like in Japan is meant for you. It's a one person Japanese barbecue experience. To me, the vibe I'm getting here, correct me if I'm wrong, it really feels like Japan has so many like anti-social setups in restaurants. Experience. You get your own Like this food. is cool to me, you don't have to talk but to I wonder anybody. why. You just order on a screen. It's very fascinating. And you light a fire while you're waiting, which is just a cute cool. way to say to start the grill. I got their most recommended set and it was- That's a lot of food. Only under $15. 15, are you kidding me? And it's probably like the best quality meat ever. For 15 bucks, you get like a big mess. It comes with unlimited oh rice too. Below me, there's a drawer that has wet towels, it has toothpicks and chopsticks. And to the right of me, there's a bunch of different sauces that you can try with your yaki. Even the way the sauces dispense is prime. Thank you. And if the fire gets crazy, you can control that too. The perfect place for a solo lunch or dinner. <sighs> this video has depressed me. That exists in Japan, part two, cuddle cafes. This is the way you what? pay some money to spend some time cuddling around another person. You can lay on their arms, lay on their laps, stare into their eyes, and so much more. You can cuddle someone, pay money to cuddle? I can think of a few times in my life where I would have used that, probably. Feeling lonely and don't have anyone to hang out with? Well, fear not, for here in Japan, you can rent a friend for a few what? short hours and have all the fun that you could ever want. Anti-loneliness. Dude, anti-loneliness cafes? What the heck? Don't have anyone to eat with? Well, you're in luck when you're eating at this type of cafe Whoa. because you'll be seated right next to a stuffed animal which will stare into your eyes while you eat your food. Okay, the anti-loneliness cafe could be really cool or really awkward because I feel like if you're bringing a bunch of potentially lonely people together, this calls out how lonely you are, and I feel like it'd be better if you went to a cafe where they were like, hey, we're just going to set you with someone random, but then people who are lonely would not go there. So I, I don't know. Maybe it's good. Hand soaps you can get. I bought one of these for a video recently. I still use it. It's kind of good. This hand soap by Biore pumps out a paw print. It's kind of fun. This I like it. This hand soap that I got from Tokyo Disney pumps out the same Mickey Mouse face shape that you find <laughs> at the hand washing stations at actual That's Tokyo funny. Disney. Or if you're looking for an automatic soap dispenser, of course, Japan has it. Pikachu. Pokemon. No face shape, though, unfortunately. Oh, no face shape. Well, then why do you even want that one? Places in Japan 
Japan that you won't believe exist. I bet I will. Holy freaking heck, guys. An anime and manga shopping complex is opening in Tokyo and it's going to be epic. The museum is going to house a jaw-dropping library, two floors high wow. filled with books and manga. And oh my god, there's going to be an anime. Anime. I should watch anime, right? What's a good anime I should watch? Because I don't watch any. I don't know anything about it. There are only six Starbucks reserve roasteries in the world. And one of the largest ones sits right here in Tokyo, Japan. And reserves are different from regular Starbucks. It's basically an upscale Starbucks that features a cocktail bar, bakeries, and a lot more. This one boasts four floors, and I'm going to recommend some bomb signature drinks that you buy. Bro, I'd spend some cash there. To try that you can only get at wow. this Tokyo Starbucks reserve. On the first floor, you've got to try the cherry coffee tonic. It's like an incredible blend of fruit meets coffee. Starbucks really took it to a new level. Can you imagine, like, if they had one of these, like, in, like, big cities? It's McDonald's. For McDonald's him. in Japan. These are fun. I had McDonald's in Beijing, and I got freaking green tea ice cream, and it was so good. I think we had spaghetti, too. Okay, now back to the food. I really wanted the toy, so I made my mom get the happy set. And yes, in Japan, we actually call it a happy set, not happy, happy set. Meal. Okay. Anyways, my mom got the vanilla milkshake, which comes in this little cup, and she ordered the petite... Petite pancakes! That's a cute cute name for pancakes pancakes and fries you're not worried about the carbs are you and yes it is true that you can only order a small fries until the end of the year wow for myself i ordered the shaka shaka chicken dude and this looks so good let me see what it looks like i want to go here so bad i'll show you guys in a sec what wow. they look like let me see the food this is their angus beef bolognese cooked oh, burger dang. yeah that's a really long name for a burger that looks so look good how soft the bread is wow and it has bolognese sauce, oh my and the gosh here is super creamy it's got cheese Overall, in it this is the shaka shaka chicken i chose the red pepper flavor all you do is open the seasoning put it in the bag and shake it up but i made sure to shake it well so that the chicken is coated evenly now let's see how it looks i mean look at this oh that looks so chicken, good so if your mouth is not watering right now you are not a human being you're a robot oh what bro is that noodles matcha noodle ice cream wow i i never i never in my days have seen something absolutely so fantastic i don't know if i like matcha though japan really living in 2050 this looks like the most exquisite candy ever it's like it's like pulling a demon out of like a portal except it's a giant giant tongue. Oh my god, look at that. Bro, this is crazy. You can just buy freshly cut vegetables or strawberries in a, in a bottle and then it blends it for you. I don't know why I said vegetables. I can't think of what these things are called. Strawberries, whatever they are. How mochi is made in Japan. I love mochi. I've seen people do this in China and I didn't realize they were making mochi at the time. I thought they were putting a show on. I, I didn't realize. Couldn't these guys like retire and go into like Taekwondo or something or like some sort of like martial art fighting? Because they've obviously got the skills to be able to pull that off. Look at that. Whoa, whoa. We can talk about the cool ketchup mustard thing which we've all seen before a thousand times but can we not talk about the spiral wrapped corn dog or this one which is goop on a stick uh this one doesn't maybe look as appealing but what are you what are you trying to do here i don't even know what that last one was this is cool you pull it out it's it releases the air and the entire thing falls down and it jiggles crazy immersive museum in tokyo well this should be exciting shoes are coming off so if you're taking a date here make sure whoa that's sick then you cross this bumpy beanbag land that's like whoa. walking on quicksand all right hold on there's a place like this in ohio it's called otherworld and it's like a thousand times stupider than this i mean it's not bad but like it's not that cool like it's got stuff like this and you might see that and be like oh that's really cool the problem is though everyone there's trying to get instagram pics you can't even enjoy it like it is it's too busy the water is warm like it that's kind of fun here is a room of big white balls when you punch them they change colors that's cool and this put me in a freaking trance it's like a planetarium but of flowers i took this is weird man it's like out of nowhere suddenly everybody started making these weird experiences that are kind of mid but they're also kind of cool but i like them they're good enough what even is that it looks like corn covered in caramel is that caramel corn is it is it chocolate is what what is this food because there's like a layer of suspicious looking stuff on that slime is looking a little bit sus to me and i'll know i gotta know what that is before i'm eating it is all i'm saying all right oh well, this looks like clear glue is it are you eating this because that literally looks like glue I, you don't even tell me that's food or not like that concerns me because if i go to Japan now. I'm gonna try to eat everything. <laughs> Look at this. It's a cat train. Oh, that's so crazy. Where is this that you can have this many cats? What? <laughs> I don't care. I love this. Because it's literally just like my cat right now. Morel is literally sleeping an inch behind my wheel of my chair. So if I move at all, I'll just roll over her ear. So I can't move. Cats just like do the dumbest stuff. How do they not care? Even if it was that small, I would still move. I wouldn't want to touch it. We were absolutely shocked with the many varieties of vending machines. Kodak? I thought they went out of business. Are they still in business? The first thing we tried was the curry vending machine. <gasps> Wow, that looks good. Try it. Free utensils. In America, those would all be stolen. They'd use them as weapons and stab you. That's fire. We also have takoyaki vending machine. Japan wow. is really something else. 
literally looks like a that is crazy that shop. Oh my God. a burger okay this is going to be the ultimate judgment of how good this is because a good looking burger from a vending machine would be mind-blowing it, it look looks bad. pretty small but kind of look promising uh, that looks, let's see that what it tastes pretty like decent. like if you got the option of getting one of these or a gas station dog on a roller i'm picking this every time all right i've had a few gas station dogs though i won't knock them they're not that bad but this looks so much better tokyo japan car edition oh guys i love cars all right that is i don't know what is that? Oh, a Lamborghini Aventador SVJ, maybe. Apparently, I don't like cars as much as I thought. Because, like, most of these, I don't really... I don't like Porsches, really, at all. I think they all look the same. So, maybe I'm not as much of a car guy. This looks like a Cincinnati Reds baseball hat. Oh, It's good because if you don't have any friends, like me, you could pop one of these in your car, and then when you're taking a long drive, you feel like you're not alone. What is this? That's surprisingly stretchy without tearing. Oh, well, I don't know what this is. It looks like maybe some mochi or something, but if this is not a very sour flavor, I'd be really disappointed when I ate it. Okay, that's weird. <laughs> okay, I t it, it almost feels like some of the stuff in Japan. It's just like they designed it and they were like, Hey man, there's no limit to what we can do. All right, I'm not going to reject any idea. You want a girl who spits out a little piece of candy and you can bite it out of her mouth. You go ahead and do that. One of my favorite types of videos. Mini ramen, an egg for protein. I actually bought some eggs today in America the from the too. store. Like pre-peeled eggs. They were disgusting, but I want to see what hers look like. Mine just tasted like chemical preservative. Just so the seaweed doesn't get soggy. Mm. Delicious. That I like good. eating ramen when I feel cold and this is oh, the I bet that is good when you're cold. Soft boiled eggs are so good. Dude, that looks so incredible. Why is the one that I got? I got like a bag of like eight pre-peeled hard-boiled eggs. I was like, this should be delicious. Bro, they literally taste like someone freaking embalmed them. Look at a pet hedgehog and he leash trained it. Oh, she's circling it. She's about to run on that thing over. Is that a wild hedgehog or is that a pet hedgehog? Because I don't know. I mean, they're following it as if it's a it's a pet. My friend used to have a pet hedgehog, bro. Those spiky boys. I mean, they're not that spiky to the point that they hurt you if you never pet one, but they're spiky boys. Some in Japan comes with papers so you can throw it I've heard of this before. Like, get, go ahead, get in there. Sometimes the hole is too small for my hand to Enter. We have this special gum bottle to grab a gun easily. What? The design is very human. Just put some gums in the bottle. You just give it a stroke and it will come out from the hole. Wow. There you go, old people. Give it a stroke and it comes out the hole. You know, Not anyway, moving on. Traditional Japan, houses. Try a traditional merchant's house. For the same price as a hotel, I felt like I had been transported back through time, but with heated floor. It literally has fresh AC and heating. I don't know. It really is a crazy mix of old oh, and new nice. because it had futon beds and these death trap stairs, but also the most state-of-the-art toilet I've ever used. Woo! This is one of my lifelong goals, guys. Listen to me right now. This is so important. They just released a new toilet. Seriously, it's $7,000. It's like a super smart toilet. If I could buy this toilet for $7,000, it would be such a flex on some of my old haters. So if you guys want to support that mission, feel free to subscribe. I'm trying to get that. Ninja and Yangwa River. Yanagawa River. That was really difficult to get out. Ninja and Yanagawa River. Let's see what he's going to do. Yeah, I mean, he's kind of a big boy. I'd be afraid he's going to tip the ship over and jumps down on me. Is he really going to make this jump? Bro's just chilling. It's like getting away. Oh, oh, oh that's a tad is a ninja. That bet in his prime, he knew how to jump a lot farther than that. Welcome to the official official Uber Eats restaurant. And instead of ordering food directly to your house, you're forced to leave the comfort of your home just to go to an actual <laughs> no Uber way. Eats restaurant. And you're also what? forced to- This is weird. You use your phone to order food from restaurants that are nearby. And an Uber Eats guy will bring it to your table. Okay, I mean, I get it if you get the free food and I also get it, but I don't. If it delivers local restaurants, why wouldn't you just go to the local restaurant? I guess, because you get the money. But like, how is this a sustainable business? Or is it just advertising? Do you know Japan has floating trains? Yes. Only an hour from Tokyo and Chiba, there's a monorail that's floating and will take you around the city. Yeah, I mean, you know, if in Columbus, Ohio, we could literally just get a single working train, that'd be so good. Have you ever tried self-heating bento box? No! Just by pulling the string, the meal starts to heat up by itself. Now make that make sense to me. How does it work? How does it self-heat? Because I would be self-heating in the microwave and make my whole office smell like bento sushi or something. I got so scared, I actually jumped back. Oh, holy crap, dude. Have you ever seen a train move in Philadelphia? That's where I used to live, bro. They moved like absolutely like ants compared to that. I, we need something like that. Why do we not have that? Esports school. Oh, imagine going to college to be in esports. Like, isn't that the craziest thing? That's just unreal. Like, I would definitely have liked this, but like, I just feel like it wasn't an option for me and everyone made fun of video games when I was in a kid and they still kind of do, but like, it would be a fun job for me. Summer in Japan can get really hot. Well, we have this item. Simply spray it on a flat surface. It doesn't stick <laughs> okay. on the table. It's safe to spray. It doesn't look safe to spray on your skin. You know what I mean? Like, that's what I would say, too, if I was selling a product like this. I'm like, oh, yeah, you won't, you won't die or get cancer. It's so ugly. You know, like, you're going to walk around with a giant blue splatter on your face. Like, at least it's, like, blue, though, not a different color. <laughs> Why? Are you supposed to get it wet first? That's so weird. I'm sure there's a reason I don't understand why you would want to do that. I mean, I would probably just do it for the fun of it, but that's really weird. <laughs> 
What? I've never seen a whirlpool of noodles around you. I mean, that's just ridiculous. That's the type of thing you want to see more in America, to be honest. We were given a wooden box when we got our sake. I've had sake, and I've only had it once, and I still have the same bottle. I do not think it tastes good. It tastes like dirt corn water, but I think I got really cheap stuff, so maybe I'm wrong. They poured a sake, it overflows and spills into the box, oh. which kind of looks like a Japanese bathhouse. Hmm. Not sure if you're supposed to drink out of the box. Are you supposed to drink out of it? Women are usually given plastic ones to avoid lipstick stains. So you are supposed to. That just seems like a very generous pour. That's a place I'd want to go to. Instant ramen flavors you can only get in Japan. And they got a pickle flavor. Can you guess the flavor? Corn butter? Corn or butter or corn with butter. Buttered corn. This is such a thing. And in, in, in China, they do corn ice cream. All right. I had it when I was there. It just works so well as a sweet food. And in America, it's only like not. It's not sweet. I don't think this is sweet either. If you guess corn and butter, of you're right. Of course I did. Oh, places we have to visit in Japan. Let's see where we're going. Bamboo forest. Yes. That looks like a Avengers movie. Marvel. This looks amazing. Going there as well. Add that to your list, guys. Pandora Mountain. Oh, that's in Japan. I thought that was in the Avatar world. Bro, I thought that was literally in a different planet where the Avatar people lived. It's in Japan. Japan have avatars. This is one amazing Whoa. place to stay in Japan. It is located in the Hokkaido region and has Japanese tatami style living space but with a pool bag which my back is happy about. It has a full view of the ocean and perfect when it started snowing. Whoa. The best thing is that the room has a full open air onsen with a view. Onsen is a hot spring Whoa. bath that have two buttons for cold and hot water. This is beautiful. Then a third button for the high mineral natural hot spring water and it's coming out from this wooden waterway. All right, next thing we gotta do in Japan, if we go there is, is what? What is it? Eating raw eggs is safe. Oh, that looks good. You can rent a boyfriend. Oh, dude, so many of you guys would love that. Honestly, I bet half the girls that watch my channel could go out and rent a boyfriend right now. It would help you a lot. Rotating car parking. Oh, that's cool. Eat alone at a restaurant is normal. That's also pretty sick. I feel like maybe you guys, I shouldn't have roasted you so early, so I apologize for that. I'm sorry, but I I, st I still think I'm right. Let's go on. Three mistakes not to make in Japan. Number one, taking a taxi what? at the airport. A taxi from the airport to Tokyo can cost up to $350, so take the fast bullet train Whoa, for $20 sick. instead. Number two, assuming everyone speaks English. A huge majority of people in Japan whoa, do not hey, whoa, speak whoa, 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 whoa. We can't be just be showing hedgehogs and not talk about, you got wild hedgehogs in Japan. Written down. Number three, leaving a tip. There is no tipping culture in Japan, and leaving a tip can even be considered yes i love that dude that's really good knowledge because if you ever go to japan and you're from america you're going to want to leave a tip because every time you go to anywhere you have to leave a tip things in japan that would send an american into a coma your sockets are available oh in Japanese look at that taxis. In spring season, Asahi Beer releases its limited Sakura can designs. Here's the thing. I don't know anything about Japanese brands. And so like, if I were to see one of these, I would have no idea it's limited. So now I know. Alcohol infused with Sakura is also available. Convenience stores in Japan have hot water dispensers oh. where you can enjoy your cup noodles. Oh, that looks good. Vending machines have varieties of hot soup, including ramen soup. Bro, I can't even tell you right now. I'm, I'm literally about to get some ramen after this. I encourage you to get it as well. In fact, if you're watching this without ramen, you should probably go make some because especially nice expensive ramen. One of the craziest oh, things sick. you can do in Japan is to catch your own food at a restaurant. How cool would this be? Fishing for dinner. This is Zao Fishing Restaurant in Osaka and the inside is absolutely bonkers. Yeah. Fish out the window from a booth, fish off a boat or fish from the sidelines. The choice is yours. Patience is key, my friends. And once you make All right, there's a lot of vegans out there that would say this is absolutely terrible. And you're probably right. It probably is, but it's cool. And yes, I would do it. And yes, I fully support it. The chefs will turn it into a yummy sashimi or deep fried or steamed Oh fish my god, yum. I literally want to do that so bad. That is one of the coolest things I've seen. This is what a typical after work meal in Japan looks like. So I had to work late and I was craving curry, but nowhere around me was open. So I stumbled into my favorite 7-Eleven and grabbed some from the ready to eat section. All I had to do was pop it into the microwave and it was done. 7-Eleven curry specifically is adored good. by most people in Japan and is known for actually being delicious compared to other convenience oh, stores. Oh, the it's multi-layered! separately, which is a genius Bro. way of mushy rice. As expected, even though it came from a microwave, the curry taste was delicious and the dinosaur-sized meat they had in the bowl was also- I'm not even going to lie, the amount of saliva in my mouth right now is salivating. I'm as close to drooling. I mean, there are a lot of things here we're learning about this together, guys. Maybe one day we'll all go together. We'll take a little lover fella trip. We'll go out, be 500,000 of us, maybe a million. Take over the whole city. I don't know. Maybe we'll do it. Top things to do We won't. We're not actually going to do that ever. What is this? Shibuya Crossing? Oh, these are the most important top things to do in Japan. Nakamazi Dori Shopping Street, free entry. Oh, would you look at that? It's free to enter a shopping district. Why, why would it not be free? Oh, that's cool. Oh, look at that. Draw your fortune? 
Dude, I would love to get my fortune drawn, except when I got it drawn, they would probably come out with something that says like, you're probably gonna die in like three years. This public hand washing stations are equipped with phone sanitizer. Nah, I'd just steal my you phone. You put your phone in and it will be sanitized oh. within 20 seconds. Nah. This will be in time for you to also wash your hand. What I if it gets seen stuck? around the Ginza area. So cool how it automatically lowered and raised your phone. I don't know if you're gonna wanna use that or not. I mean, mine's never been UV clean, so it's probably got more germs on there. Probably got enough germs to start COVID-3. You know what I mean? All right, let's see. If we're going to the airport, how's our baggage clean? Seriously? It's automated? Do you know how long it takes me to check my bags in America? You gotta wait through all these people that never seem to have used a baggage thing in their life. This is... This is so nice. This restaurant won't take any money. Oh, okay, it's I would go It's located in Osaka, Japan, and it's themed like a Japanese bathhouse. When you order food, the staff won't accept money. Instead, what? they will only take rubber ducks. What? If you don't have rubber ducks, you can get some at the ducking machine. What? So you have to buy a duck for your for your food? That's really weird. These are Japanese cutters? In Japan, where their gutters are gutters. clean enough to have fish living in them. What? Dude, our gutters are so dirty in America that if you probably took one single swallow of that water, you would develop 16 types of diseases. Oh my God, magic egg, dude. Came out of nowhere. Oh, oh my God, and it cracked open. This dude used to be like a samurai. I feel like I am there being served right now this meal. <laughs> oh, I love it. Dude, give me that. Give me that. I'm about to dig in right now. Oh, wait, that's not. That's actually mine. How Japanese people dress? Seems pretty normal. I mean, it seems like relatively normal. Doesn't it? Why does this have so many likes? Am I missing something? It just seems like generally like pretty cool like outfits, people that know style pretty well. Like for me, if I were to like do something like this today, I would have to get some dark red to compliment my Rudolph pimple nose right now. Like that would be my cool style. I would bring it out, make it pop more. How does the McDonald's in Japan even look healthy? Like why, why does this look deliciously healthy, organic? Like this looks so good. I love shaka shaka potato. In Japan, you get fries with powder not ketchup this time they have plum and seaweed seasoning plum and, and seaweed mayo seasoning is this only in japan this is so good there are literally so many things that i've learned like if i don't if i didn't watch all of these and get through this i would miss out so much i went to japan this is crazy this is japan's mega <laughs> entertainment center round one stadium costs only seven dollars to enter and you get access to five levels of unlimited fun for three hours go nuts in the all you can play arcade level where you get to try rhythm games and all your arcade favorites with i saw a pewdiepie video where he went to a japanese arcade and it looks so confusing to me because i think nothing was in english i'm pretty sure and i feel like i would have got dominated but this looks cool Cool. There's the machine in ping pong, test your aim. Let me channel my Legolas. Play bubble soccer, go rollerblading, or race wow. your friends in electric carts. But that's not even close to being it. They've even got karaoke rooms. Sing your heart out or head to the relaxation corner to wind down and read manga. And maybe finish the night riding a rodeo. Who do you want to bring here? I want to bring literally everybody there. I want to bring everyone who subscribes to this video right now to that place. So go ahead and subscribe. I won't bring you there, but I want to. Is bro gonna hop it just casually? Oh my god, he does it so easily. He literally does it so easily. Look at that. Is he gonna hop down there or what? <laughs> what? Oh! That is sick! Whoa! Look at that! Everything's so pretty and pink. Wow. Oh, look at that. I wish there was more of that video. Okay, so now we gotta go there during the Cherry Blossom Festival as well. We can't miss that. $90 for Mario Kart? You can rent Mario Kart? Oh, look at that. What the heck? More Mario. Dude, they're gonna go crazy when the Mario video drops in a, in a few days, the movie. 
The sad thing is, there's a place near me called Otherworld. Here's some pictures. It looks like this, but so much more mid. Oh, this is interesting because now I'm realizing I've never seen a transparent washing machine. I mean, it makes sense. You don't have to stare at the dirty dishes, so I wouldn't want it, but it's kind of cool. I can't decide if it's cool or not. I think what would be cool is if it was one of those like bathroom windows where you can turn the, the transparency on and off. This is what I'm talking about. Use this glass on the dishwasher. When you turn it on, it looks like this. When you turn it off, it fades so you don't have to look at the dirty stuff. In Tsukishima, Japan, there's a man named Mr. Mitani who likes to take his giant African tortoise out for walks. His name is Bonchan and he's 20. Bro even has a hat. Mr. Mitani takes him on long walks down Monjodori. When I say long walks, I mean like these five minute walks that usually take about an hour because of his slow pace and because of all the people that want to take pictures with him. Do you think the turtle enjoys taking a five minute or like a, like an hour long walk? Like, cause turtles are so slow. Do they actually like exercise or do they hate it? A self heating box. That makes me think harder. Have you ever tried self-heating bento box? No. Why don't we have this in America? Do you know how many like forms of food would taste better self-heated like that? Abandoned jewelry store in a radioactive zone of Fukushima, Japan. Bro, I don't care, I'm taking it. I mean, if they're Rolexes, which they could be. If it's radioactive, how are you standing next to it, bro? That's crazy. If there's ever a radioactive fallout, I'm going straight to the jewelry stores. That's the first spot I'm stopping at. In Japan, a marriage this is the perfect machine? place to find your partner. What? This vending machine helps you find your boyfriend or your girlfriend. Each can have a description of people's age, gender, and income. It's only $10 what? and you can see their faces inside of the camera. After you get the camera, you just have to call the number and go meet the person in real life. That is weird. This zipline could only That's exist cool. in Japan. At this theme park, you're sent flying directly wow. into Godzilla's mouth on a mission to save the world. But what's much scarier than line itself? This is so yeah. cool. Welcome oh. to the Cat Capsule Hotel, where you get to hang with feline friends all night long and stalk them from your capsule window. Watch them feed. It's kind of making me hungry, I'm not going to lie. Fight, drink, or have a stare off. He's looking at me. Bye. You get this whole space to yourself that's entirely cat themed with waving cats in the toilet, rumpy cat decor, and even cat tissues and wallpaper. I have been to a cat cafe, but not a hotel. I think it'd be better if that window was open and the cats could come into your room and lay with you. That would be fun, but you probably couldn't do that for liabilities. This is a $60 first class only train wow. in Japan. No joke, this train only has first class. Welcome Dang. aboard the Sofia Odorico. Let's start with the premium. The premium of a first class only train. You know it's going to be good. So wow. All the views. There's also automatic. It's made of carbon fiber. Functions, and you even get a blanket. Look at this chair, dude. But check this. There's also That's a carbon private fiber. freaking room that comes with room service. I see this and people literally say to me they would still prefer to drive. Are you kidding? If I'm going on a road trip and I have this, I mean, occasionally, sure. A short drive. I'm taking a road trip, bro. I'm getting in that. Random things you can find in Japanese magazines. Whoa. This magazine Whoa. features an eco bag Whoa. and a pouch where you can store your eco bag. I'll be buying magazines if I got free clothes. Oh. This magazine comes with an oh, animal I want this. coat and pouch. That's I wonder if this stuff is really cheap or if it's really nice. Because in America, you get a little perfume sample, but usually like it's like one squirt and that's it. That's how quiet the trains are. Wow. And yet on a New York City train, you could literally have someone putting on a concert inside your train. <laughs> Oh, the water bottle. It's like an emotional scene inside of it when you hold it up to the light. When I'm drinking my water, that's exactly what I want. I want to be reminded of my like long distance relationship and be sad or something. I found the Thousand Sunny from One Piece in real life at the largest theme park in Japan. It's massive cool. in person and has all the details from the ship and the anime and the manga. The inside is pretty much spot on. There's so many- I've seen this whole thing take over the world. Is One Piece something I should watch? Cause I don't know anything about it. Yes or no, let me know and tell me why. Only in Japan or New York City. I feel like this would happen in New York City as well. Nah, dude, you can't be a minion. What are you trying to do? You gotta be a Mario character. You can't be trying to be a minion. Why Whoa! Look at that. that Japan's it's insane like a overnight fairies. It's cheaper than catching. What does this cost? And I guarantee it'll blow your mind. I swear. Our room this looks better than the hotel that I just stayed at by a lot. Fourteen dollar all you can eat buffet wow. in the most beautiful setting. Buffet looks amazing. Look at it. There's even a chocolate fountain. This is the best food I've ever had. I don't know if I'd trust a public chocolate after. fountain though. Now we converted our room into a cinema wow. and then turn it into a super cozy bedroom and hit the head. This is amazing. I wish they would tell me the price of this because they said it's cheaper than like a bullet train, but I don't know how much a bullet train is. So is that like 20 bucks or 200 bucks? Like, or is it even more? Japan fine. A bag of ice? This is random a block indie, of ice? I find it so <laughs> that is cool. I've never seen that. Why would you want clear ice? Unless you're making really, really fancy drinks for your girlfriend or something, which I would still not buy ice for. Sorry. You won't believe how much this square Japanese watermelon costs. $500. But then I realized the cheapest watermelon was $10 and the rest wow. were more expensive. Then I found this crate that says God Godzilla's, Godzilla's egg. egg. It was a giant ninety-dollar watermelon. These big, wow. dark, juicy watermelons are actually ninety dollars each. Finally, the moment of truth. The square watermelon. I would say three hundred ten. Oh, oh. 
hundred dollars. Oh. I don't know if it's supposed to taste any better, but do you think it's worth it? No, there's no way it tastes better. It's not like you bite into it and you're like, mm, this tastes very square to me. Japan really lives in 2050. Mmm. Like you just, it's just weird to me, McDonald's, because if you think Americans don't want any of this, you're wrong. If you think we won't eat this for breakfast, you're wrong. Okay. Look at that. The most unhealthy. Oh my lord, that cannot be good for you, but I would eat it so hard. As the fattest country in the world, I really demand that we have more options for McDonald's and other candies. I would say that we need this immediately. Souvenirs handmade souvenirs. I've ever found in Japan is handmade by the sweetest man named Kawamura san. I was shopping oh. down this popular alleyway in Kyoto, that's and I pretty. always wondered what was inside the building, and that's when I met Kawamura san, who was handmaking Japanese artwork called ukiyo-e. He told me that ukiyo-e is a style of Japanese art that's over 300 years old, made by painting and pressing wooden block prints on to rice paper. He paints Whoa. and presses each block what one do they at cost? a time to make these How much do they cost? 72 cents? Flowers. So he sells them for like a dollar a pop. That's not bad. Have you ever wanted to go eat yakiniku and none of your friends wanted to go? I don't know what yakiniku is. Who like in Japan is meant for you. It's a one person Japanese barbecue experience. You get your wow. own booth. You don't have to talk to anybody. You just order on a screen. It even tells you to light a fire while you're waiting, which is just a cute way to say Dude, that's cool. You get to do it yourself with your own little personal fire. I mean, it looks amazing, but I feel like that can't be good for like creating more relationships. Like, I feel like you would like just not meet people because I would just do that always. No trash bin. Well, how do they stay clean if there's no trash bags? That doesn't no make sense. No trash to me. bin again. And apparently, again. walking in Japan, according to the comments, while eating is frowned upon, so you're not supposed to be eating, which is why there's no trash cans for your food. I turned on the TV in Japan. Okay. Is this a one show or is this what is what is this? Are you flipping channels or is this one channel? I don't know what this is, but I gotta watch this show. Dang, they got the best shows. There's a lot. There's a lot to take in on that channel right there. I mean, it, it's not too different than 3 a.m. channels here in America. Though. Unusual things that are normal in Japan: umbrellas to cross wow. the mall bridge. It's That's smart. That way, if someone steals it, that'd be kind of sick to have a mall use only umbrella. Kind of a rebel. That is not a thing you can take. Cool use of camera ad on Creative. Bus. Japan batting cage. Oh, cool. It's a fake picture and it launches out. Whoa. Attack on Titan is real in Japan. Where's the Titan? I want to see the Titan. That's all I care about. I just want to see the Titan. I want to see them invest into a giant statue, the biggest statue ever of a Titan, just to do it for tourism. So here comes your drinks and a that ice cube is ten dollars. We saw earlier. So this is where I buy them. They make your iced coffee in an ice. Is this iced coffee or is it coffee ice? How do you pour that? I have questions. How do you get it out of there? A straw? Bro, they just made coffee iced. That's incredible. Guys, this was absolutely insane. If you love looking at cool things in Japan, I got a whole series. Click here to go check out another Japan video. See you guys there. Peace.